Patricio Pitbull. Thank you. Give a few questions in the room. Go ahead, Nolan. Patricio, congratulations on the win, man. Could that have gone any better? That was so quick. Yes, it's, uh, it was uh, with a challenger, but it was very complicated in the training. So it's not as like, as you think. When you got that guillotine locked in, um, it seemed like you were the first person to know that he was out. Did you feel him kind of go lit a few seconds before the stop is? Yeah, he, he was with me and I, I knew that I told the referee, but he didn't believe it that time. Yeah, for sure. And um, this obviously lines you up for a pretty big fight against AJ McKee. Um, was this the fight that you, coming into the tournament, was hoping would be at the end of the finish line? Yeah, it's, it's the perfect final. For that movie, he is undefeated and the champion. You know, let's let's see what's gonna happen, and I know what's gonna happen. And I feel like you're starting to finally get the respect that you deserve. Uh, people are recognizing how good you are. So to even boost your star power uh, further, do you think this is the biggest matchup uh, that you uh, that you could have possibly faced off against? I don't know. I really don't think about that. I know I have the number one in the world, so. It's enough for me. I know my, my records, I know my numbers, my titles, the meaning of that. And he was in here earlier and he kind of listed off the advantages he thought he had over you, the reasons that he could beat you. Um, from your perspective, how, what, what, do you, what do you think that, how do you think you can beat him? Uh, it's, a, it's a fight of five rounds. Uh, came to the other uh, place that he doesn't know. It's a competition fight for the, the belt. It's different, different preparation. Everything, everything is gonna happen. He knows my power. He knows I'm, I'm dangerous. I know he's scared. And, and you know, in the cage after you guys had a stare down, um, and, and you and your team and, and him exchanged words. Is there bad blood involved in this one? It's a, a challenge. I know he is good, he is young, but I told him to be a complete fight, he deserves to be defeated, and he will be defeated by me. That's what I told him. And, and throughout the tournament, you know, when I asked AJ this, he said yes. Um, were you almost rooting for him, you know, to win, keep winning and get to this point so that you guys can be matched up together here in the final? Ah, uh, not really, but I knew it's, it's, it was possible. So I, I, I didn't think about it. And, and you had some comments about Michael Chandler fighting for the UFC belt. Is it, you know, you said you're almost rooting for him. Is, is it weird with the rivalry you guys have had to almost be rooting for him in this in this fight? Like, like, now he represents me, so it's important. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Patricia, congratulations, what a performance. What is it like having the so-called greatest of all time, what lightweight that is watching you? Is it any added pressure or do you not care at all? Would you, I didn't understand the question. So I was just saying basically, what's it like having the so-called greatest of all time, have you watching, watching um, you fight? Is it any added pressure or do you not care? I, th I thought it was me watching me fight. <laughs> That's why I didn't understand. So, but I know Khabib was there. I just saw him before the, uh, after the fight. So I didn't do that during the fight. How well, I was so close. Yeah, fair enough. How did you match up with somebody like Khabib? Uh, I have a strategy for him. You have a strategy? He has a strategy, yeah. He, he always keep coming forward and he 
a good someone who is going to fight him that you make him step back. That's it. Yeah. So applying lots of forward pressures. Yeah. So Put pressure on him. Yeah. Do the same as Gleison Di Bao did. Do you remember that fight? I remember that oh, fight. Khabib won, but it was, it was back yeah. and forth, wasn't it? I think even Everyone did you watch that fight again? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So is AJ the toughest matchup in your division? Uh, now, I think yes, because he is uh, undefeated. I think so. Thank you, Mr. Uh, last time you spoke, you, you promised me, you said, I'm going to finish this. And you both came out, it seemed like you were patient and, and composed. Did that play out exactly how you trained and how you prepared for it? Your last night, I was very uh, fast. I was introducing Carti in my, my game, and I realized that when he blocks all my punches. And I was thinking about that with my coach Everton Ops, he's two times uh, amateur world, world champion, and he told me just the creation and go in the right moment. That was what I did. Absolutely. And you said AJ is, is perfect for the movement, right? And I know you said you don't think like this, but with your history of breaking records and your star power and his star power, do you feel this could possibly be the biggest fight in Bellator history? I don't know if it's going to be the greatest fight in history, but he's been built up by Bellator from his whole career here at Bellator. He's undefeated. He's in the finals against me. So it's going to be one of the greatest fights of all time. All right, we'll take a couple more here. Demo. Patricio, when will the fight take place? Uh, I know that AJ just came in here and said he'd be happy to do it next week. I know that you've not got a scratch on you. When is this fight going to happen? I can do it now. I'm ready. The case is there. Eric. I'm here. He's here. Let's do that. Call Eric, show time. Let's, let, let, let's film this. That's it. Eric, was Henry Zuko playing an April Fool on Chelsea when he said he was coming back? Cejudo and Chelsea and the other is a, uh, it, it's hard to tell what goes to, to tell you the truth. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm, a, I'm always uh, looking for another belt, so C4 sounds about, sounds about right to me. Sean? Uh, Patricia, congratulations on the victory uh, once again. Thank you. And you're going to claim that title. You know, talk about how this tournament brought out the best, not only you, but all your, also your fellow competitors, how they had a chance to you know, have the spotlight on them and kind of get built up a bit before you had a chance to uh, take them out of the cage and beat them. What's your question? Oh, about this time, uh, talk about how uh, you embraced know, being part of this tournament and, you know, basically, you know, having the spotlight on the featherweight division on his competitors so they got built up as well as he did before he took them on. Hey, Patricio, congratulations on the win. I actually have one quick question for you. 
I just want to know, how did your training switch up uh, the second time around against the Bengals? It was about patience, it was about strategy. The training was almost the same. I changed this, the, the strategy, that, that, that's it. And my box is getting better, I know that. All right, thanks Patricia. Thank you. Thanks John. Woo! Congrats man. All the joys.